Hi there and welcome to another orchestration hack. This time however it's not necessarily an orchestration hack but maybe a mix between an orchestration and a composition tip because I want to talk about voice leading and writing counter melodies. Often when writing a melody it can be very tempting to just have long notes underneath because the melody is the thing that's most important, right? You can add some great textures, some great interests to your compositions, mainly in the lyrical sections when you decide to write some counterpoint. And this can be hard, but it is worth it in the end. And I want to look with you to a new piece I'm writing. This piece will be part of my second library album, which I'm working on right now. If you want to follow me writing this album on Instagram, I try to post daily updates behind the scenes of my composition process and some tips and tricks on how I do things as I'm working on them. So if you want to follow that, you can find my Instagram linked down below. And let's dive into the piece. What I want to talk about basically consists of two things. One is counter melodies, counterpoint, and the second is voice leading. I have both of these in two lyrical sections and that's where the strings take the upper hand. And I just bought a new string library and I'm very happy with it. Cinematic Studio strings. And maybe, yeah, I'll probably link it down below as well. <laughs> So in this first part, the cello has the main melody and it does so throughout all these bars. The higher strings, so violas, second violins, first violins. First they play some chords and afterwards they start adding their own melodies as well. I spent quite a lot of time on these four bars over here and I'll play you the melodies separately. So first off, the cello plays the main melody. So I could accompany this with long notes, but I chose to add some other melodies in the other string lines as well to make a really dense tapestry of sound, let's say. So from bar 26 here, you see that they really start flowing in its own melodic material. While before that, it was basically just the chord tones. And then second violins, an inner voice. So when you do have to write semi-long notes, I still try to give some melodic interest to it and that the melodies that you are playing do make sense. It's not jumping around all over the place. And then to wrap it up, the violas. So you see that by adding all these melodies together, you get way more interest than if I would just have had the cello melody accompanied by chord notes. Then I want to jump to the second lyrical section where something similar is happening. Here I chose not to have all instruments play their own separate melody, but I layered some things together. Um, so basically what we have is we have the first and the second violins playing the melody, main melody in octaves. Then the celli play in their high register, play the counter melody. And then for the violas, I was kind of forced to have longer notes here, but I always made sure that when I was changing notes, the voice leading always made sense. So in that way, it is still playing some kind of a melody. Another benefit of working like this, with working with true melodies instead of just long notes, is that when you have these melodies, you can double them in any section of the orchestra. Many people, when writing, forget about their movements, while they are a great way to add some color to your music and to add some extra body to some melodies. So here, because I have already written all these different lines, and in terms of voice leading, they made sense, I could very easily drop them to other instruments to double their lines. So I have the main melody in the flutes, then the English horn and the bassoon double the counter melody. The clarinets, they have the viola part as well. If you add everything together. <laughs> So 
there you have it that's it i know counterpoint is not necessarily easy but it is so worth it in the end like i said this track is not finished yet i'm still writing it if you want to follow me finishing this track and writing the album you can follow me on instagram it's linked down below if you liked it please show consider subscribing as well if you haven't i'm almost to 100 and as always from my space to yours have a great day